Hi, I'm Penelope Arthur from the Queensland Country Life Roma office. I'm out at Charleville today for the annual Ag for State Conference where about 200 delegates have gathered to discuss a wide range of issues. Anything from wild dog control to CSG expansion and vegetation management is on the table. Recent news that Cubby Station could be sold to a Chinese consortium has also put foreign investment firmly on the agenda. Keith DeLacy, a former Cubby Station chairman and one-time Queensland treasurer, addressed the conference yesterday, telling delegates he was not opposed to foreign investment in Australian agriculture. I mean, Australia has grown on the back of foreign investment. Uh, ever since white settlement, we have needed foreign investment for our economic and social development. Um, <clears throat> more recently, it's been Asian, and I think, you know, that's created a few problems, a fear of the unknown. But uh, British first and uh, American after that. Uh, we are a large country in land mass with a very small population. We just simply don't uh, generate the savings, create the capital in this country which we can invest into growing the country. So we need foreign investment. It is good for the country generally and it's absolutely essential. I think we've got to take a pretty cautious approach to uh, how we go about that and give a lot of consideration to it. Um, we've got to consider all our young people in the industry um, yeah, and no, I think it's a pretty deep one to think about. I think it's a good idea. It keeps the price of land where it should be. Uh, one thing it does say to me is uh, how tough people are doing it on the land here and how much they're making. And I think if people are prepared to come here and uh, invest in, uh, in Australian agricultural land, then uh, it certainly paints a good picture for the future. Yes, I do, as long as it's, uh, it's controlled put in place that uh, protect the rights of Australians. And I think we'd look at uh, the, the tenure of what they invest in, also look at some of these overseas countries that are investing in here that contribute towards some of the infrastructures. Well, I had my doubts about it, but it, after hearing people talk about it at the conference here, uh, we're, going to, we're probably going to need investment, and, and uh, we haven't got enough capital in Australia, so it's got to come from overseas, whether we want it from all from one country or... Uh, I look, I'm, I'm, I'm a bit uh, undecided on it now.